there. Some of his hair, Chris Card is here. Hello Chris, how's it going? It's Saturday afternoon, I'm in Vang Vieng. Um, it's, it's a, the sky's a little bit hazy but I'm having a nice cold beer. Kevin is here from Ireland, hello Kevin, nice to hear from you. Richie Doe is here, okay, nice to hear from you. Why is it that sometimes my screen is, is backwards and sometimes it's the right way, I don't know. Anyway, <clears throat> nice little pop up uh, live here. Carolina Hill, Hillbilly. Oh, I like that. Carolina Hill. That sounds cool. That sounds cool. John Key, nice to hear from you. Wayne Davidson. Good morning, Wayne. I hope all is well. Hope all is well. Is it still very, very cold of a morning there in Scotland? I mean, here, it's. Um, you can't fault the temperatures here. You really, really can't fault the temperatures here in, in uh, Laos. John Quayle, hi, I had second to last day in Vietnam. Good for you, mate. Well, I hope you've enjoyed it then. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm sure Vietnam, Vietnam's not really on the itinerary for me right now. But um, wonderful country. I will visit there again. When the time is right, definitely. Okay, I'm going to pour a little teensy-weensy bit more of my beer. Why the hell not? It's Saturday afternoon. I'd rather be here than be down at you know, weather spoons and with a bunch of miserable, you know, miserable old codgers banging on about all the usual rubbish. Mallows is here. Hi, Eddie. Greetings from a warm Sydney Saturday afternoon. Oh, that sounds good. That sounds really, really cool. Saturday afternoon sounds great. It's, and I mean, Sydney sounds great. Sydney, Sydney. I'm sure Australia is a wonderful country. Barry Cook. Good day, Eddie. 38 degrees here in Melbourne. Wow, we've got two Australians here. We've got one in Sydney and one in Melbourne, OK? And Marty is in New Zealand, so it looks like I'm popular in that part of the world. I hope all is well, guys. I really, really hope all is well. So, anyway, it's Saturday afternoon here. I've been in Van Vien for... I mean, I've been here for four days now, and it's a lovely town. Four very, very quiet and sleepy, but unperturbed days. Um, but I like the place. It's a lovely, lovely environment, beautiful environment. Mallow, time for my drinking time to begin. Okay. So right now, I mean, it's, it must be about half past six in the morning in the UK. It's probably after midnight in America. It's um, tea time. Tea, tea time in uh, in Australia. Malice. Uh, Wayne Davidson, is the book finished yet, mate? It's not not yet, but it will be by the end of the month. Well, uh, well, it will be. I'm I'm plowing ahead. I'm cracking on my. The thing is, if you're going to do something like write a book, you just got to be. You've got to do it. You know, you've got to be tied to that laptop, and sometimes it can be a bit laborious. You need need to motivate yourself to get into it. But at the end of the day. What do you want? I mean, you, you know, you, you, the book's not going to write itself. You've got to be the one to sit there. No matter, sometimes you think, you know, you, you're slogging. It's so easy to put the news on or, or uh, you know, a bit of something else. But, um, but what, what I've found is once I get into it and I plow ahead, ahead with it, then after I've, I've, I've uh, done a bit, you know, even if it's only a few pages, I feel better afterwards. But that book, will, I'm on the second draft now. And I'm plowing ahead with it, and it, it will be, it will be available, end of this month, beginning of April, at the latest. So thanks for asking, anyway, Wayne. Uh, let's see, Kipax, nice to hear from you, Kipax. Nice to hear from you. I hope all's well in in, um, in uh, rainy old England. I hope all's well. Uh, Ossie Mike, hi at 5 p.m. in Adelaide, Australia. Okay, so, well, I'm popular in Australia, aren't I? 
Even my book sold a few copies in Australia, you know. So we've got Adelaide, Melbourne, Sydney, New Zealand. I know that's not in Australia. That New Zealand is its own country, but it's nice to know that I'm popular that part of the world. John Sh Sh uh, Shmoo, 10.30 p.m. in San Diego. That sounds like a good, that sounds like a good sound for a live stream. I'm in a lovely bar here. Really, really nice bar. This one, this bar is called the Big Easy. Now, there's, there's a, a couple of those Big Easies in Cambodia. There was one down in Chinookville. I don't know if that's still there, but they have got a Big Easy. A very, very good bar in 172 Street in Phnom Penh. And uh, that's really, really good. So this, I don't know if this is owned by the same people, but uh, anyway, K Kipax, 630 AM, oh, Manchester. Uh, I, I'll let you, okay, Manchester. Only ever been to Manchester once in my life. That was on a wet Friday afternoon, you know, in, in uh, December. And every bar that I went, I went there with a friend of mine, every bar that we went in, there was a nutter in there. And, you know, whenever you get a nutter, they always want to come and talk to you. That's my experience of, of Manchester. Andrew Johnson, afternoon, Eddie. Hope you're good, my friend. All great here in Pattaya. Okay, nice to hear from you, Andrew. I hope also. Pattaya is a wonderful place. What, what I'd like to, to um, what, what, what I, uh, you know, mention, mention to people, you, you know, what do you think of a place? I mean, how important is a place here that it looks nice it looks beautiful i mean van vieng is beautiful I, you, you know the mountains and and everything in the town you wander through it's absolutely beautiful whereas pataya well okay it's got the beach and you know it's okay down there but once you go in the interior of pataya come on let's not beat about the bus it is a asshole if you go inside pataya cyber cow and all those roads i mean it, it, that does not look like an exotic country at all so that is the question. Is it important to you to be in a place, an environment which looks nice? Or, I mean, because nobody who spends the time around Cyber Cow or areas like that is being there because it looks nice. Because it, I, I've seen bloody third world slums that look better than that. But anyway, nice to hear from you, Andrew. I see Mike. Where is this place, Cambodia? Where is this place, Cambodia? Uh, no, no, this is Lao. This is this is Lao, and I'm, I'm I'm drinking some lovely, lovely, lovely cold beer here. Lovely cold beer. Okay, Toby Price, Chambly, nice, nice to hear from you, mate. Kevin, thank you for that super chat. Thank you for that super chat, Kevin. Eleven ninety nine euros. That's about ten pounds. That's really, really kind of you, mate. Thanks for that. Really, really kind of you. So, uh. Uh, bottle baby, it looks like an excellent spot for the cold draft. I'll tell you what, you want to see the size. I've been, I've been having my meals here. You want to see the size of the baguettes here. The cheese and all the fillings, they're massive. They're a real filler. The thing is, I'm only eating once a day. I'm having big meals, far more calories than they should, but the thing is, I'm only eating once a day. So, um, yeah, yeah, you know, it's, it's, um, it's, it's, it's good. Someone else give me a super chat. Wayne Davidson, thank you for that, Wayne. That's very, very kind of you. Have a beer on me, mate. Oh, we meet you again in April. Well, it looks like Thailand for April. I think I'll probably be in Thailand at the end of this month and then maybe hang around Thailand for a, for a while before going into Cambodia. Anyway, thanks for that super chat, Wayne. That's much, much appreciated. And, uh, and it, uh, it'll be spent on more beers. And, and, uh, and uh, I tell you what, the food and drink here is good. It's, you, you could live very, very cheap. The hotels are not, are not that cheap, but if you, you get what you pay for. But I'll do a review on all of this. There, there will be, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do a review, you know, review on hotels and that sort of stuff when I'm here. Thanks for that, Wayne. Just a little quick, have a look. Who's that? John Quell, been coming to Vietnam since 2018. Prices haven't increased as much as you think. 430 milliliters Saigon Green, still only 20,000 dong. What's that? Is that about a dollar? Is that about a dollar? That's what it was six years ago. Apartment in Vung Tau, average 25 Austra Australian dollars. Is that per night? 
But Avon Town's a lovely, lovely place. Beautiful place. There's some beautiful women there. Absolutely gorgeous women. But I, I, there's, there's other aspects of that place. It's a bit seedy. You know, I wasn't entirely... I liked it better the first time I went there than I did the second time. Marco, you're looking great, mate. Thank you, Marco. Thank you. Thank you. That's very, very kind of you. The playing pool behind me, these lads here. There you go. Go on. No, that wasn't the best shot. That wasn't the best shot that I've ever seen. Okay, let's see. Whitaker wins Stanley. Beer o'clock in Brisbane, Australia. 4.30 p.m. Under 30 degrees today. Brisbane, so we got Australia. We got Brisbane, Adelaide, Melbourne and Sydney. I mean, I'm popular in Australia. I'll have to pay that place a visit sometime. None can. Enjoy the kipper, Ed. Okay. I'll see my 41 degrees here. Hang with Chang. That's, that's a good name, isn't it? Where do you think you're going to be around 28 at the end of this month? Maybe we can chase some. I, I would imagine I'll probably be, in, probably be somewhere like Udon Tani. Right around about then. Uh, so, somewhere around then. Or I might be just be leaving Lao then. Matty Gorman, is the cost of living cheaper than Thailand? I would say that the food and drink, it's, it's, um, it's, uh, well, how can, how can I put it? The, the, yeah, the food and drink's cheaper than Thailand, definitely. I'm not so sure about the hotels. Uh, Chris Card, is not that bad. I had Mike in Montana. Hello, Mike. Cheers. I'll drink to that. Yeah. Hom now, but you spent kippers some kipper in Lao. Andrew Johnson. Almost two years here, Eddie, and feels like home here. Not missing the UK. Just my family and friends. I know what you mean, mate. I know, I know what you mean. You know, and, Andrew, I'm, you know, when you're this far, 6,000 miles away from the UK, you, you know, you don't hear a good word about the UK. It, who has got anything positive to say about the UK in this day and age? Who's saying anything good about it? You know, oh, I don't know. I, I don't know. It, it's... it's um, I'm just glad that I'm here. I'll see you, Mike. You can tell us about Lowerty, nightlife girls. It's, it's got plenty of nightlife, but it's not really the, the raunchy, run people. Apparently, that's illegal there. It's not a place you go to for the, uh, for, for the beds. It's, uh, I mean, it, it, uh, the nightlife is good. If you, if you want to be in bars, and there's a lot of young people there. I, I will do a little bit of nightlife video, but it's not, it's not like a knocking shop or nothing like that for the older geezers. It's just, it's a good night out, but you know, it's, it's, not, it's not like for the uh, rumpy bumpy side of things. Gerald Ma Ma Mawson, keep going steady, get more ale da down there now. Bottle baby, bottle baby, a soy cow, an exotic environment for some. Kipax, I have a love hate relationship with Bataya, still always end up going there, uh, go, going back there. Yeah, I agree, mate, I agree. I, I mean, Come on, let, let's be blunt about this. If you're sitting in a lot of those interior areas of, um, of Thailand, sorry, of, of Pattaya, um, you, you know, third road, second road, soy bacow, soy what, whatever it is. Honestly, it looks like an asshole. It, it, it does. It looks like an asshole, but it's got lots of bars and massages and, you know, you know whatever. And um, it, it's... It, 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 it looks like it looks, looks like an, an asshole, but you keep going back because at the end of the day, it's got all that you want. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I, where, where else can you get a dirty massage of that quality? You know what I mean? Sai si London, you're living a great life, mate. I'm happy. I could be down at the social club with my nagging 20 stone wife. Yeah, let's see. Jamie, in Pattaya, there's an apartment block called Unix. Go to floor 37 viewing area, and Pattaya looks like heaven on earth. Okay. Mallows, how's the girly bar situation? It's not the place for that. Mr. Who, nice to read. Uh, nice to read. Uh, Kipax, your subs are going up on this channel, mate. I, yeah, ab absolutely. I, 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 yeah, I'm this is a lively, buoyant little channel. Can we... Can I just um, briefly... Hello. Can I just show my people? They, they want to see. They, they, they want to see. They want to see, see what it looks like here. I don't have the Wi-Fi. It will cut out. But if you just look down there, 
I don't want to point cameras at people, but look at the mountains there. Look at that mountain view. Can you see that? Wow, magnificent. I'm just going to do a little sort here. I don't want to point the camera at any of these young people here. But let's just have a little, little look out there. Wow. Just look at that. Isn't that magnificent? Isn't that magnificent? Wow, look at that. Just look at that location there. Just feast it out. Isn't that beautiful? It's worth coming here just for that alone. Absolutely magnificent. Look at those mountains over there. There you go. This, is, this isn't like the, you know, your local social club, is it? This, is not, this isn't like Manchester or Liverpool or, or any of those places. I'm not knocking those places. I know that it might sound like I am. But anyway, this is where I usually have my dinner over here. This, this table here. Okay. So anyway. Did you see that? You see that, that that is the viewing point out there that way. Magnificent. What a beautiful location to be in. Absolutely fantastic. And, and this guy's really good. Hey guys. Say, say hello. He's, 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 he's the chappy. He's, he's the main man. He's really, really cute. Cool. He's really, uh, really cool. Hey guys, I'm from Seattle. Seattle. Uh, you guys are good. Do, do you know, I, I, I'm popular in America. I have lots of American oh, subscribers. Really? Uh, but, but but Australia, it depends what time of day because everyone's asleep there right, right. right now, this time. But there's quite a lot of Australians in the chat. There's, I've, I've, there's Sydney, Melbourne, Adelaide and Brisbane. Oh, wow. And New Zealand all in the chat here. Fair enough. Okay. Fair enough. So anyway, he's a really, really cool guy. A really cool guy. I'll do a review of this bar. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Okay. So anyway, here we go. Oh, <clears throat> did you see that for you? I think they have a different Wi-Fi uh, if you go to the other end of the bar. Okay, let's see. A little... Yeah. <clears throat> Let me just have a little look at here. Um, yeah, m m yeah, miss Mr. Hit yeah, let me just see the comments on that one. You don't sound is a great place to be. Yeah, give it a like, guys. Okay, thumbs up, everyone. Thumbs up, because I'm not that bad, am I? I'm not that. I'm not that bad. Yeah, Toby Price. Toby Price. Where I live in North Chambly, I'm surrounded by paddy fields, mango trees, and banana trees. Love it. Yeah, Pattaya City is a bit rough, but okay for the odd night out. Okay, sceneries. Good morning from London. Okay, steady Eddie, Moto Kenny, how the hell are you? I'm glad to be here. I mean, this is, this is the question of the day. How important is it to you to be in a place, be in a holiday, a, a, you know, location that looks fantastic? How important is that? Or do you go there for other reasons? Do you not care what the place looks like? I mean, me, okay, you know, I'll go to Bataille, I'll go to Bataille for a bit, a bit of fun, but... At the end of the day, sooner or later, I want to be in a place that looks good. And this place sure looks good to me. Anthony Phillips, greetings from England, Eddie. First time I have caught you live in two years. Unfortunately, I'm 10 years behind you for my escape from there. Okay, fair come. It, it was in, there's, there's another YouTuber out there. I won't name him because I, I, I like him. I like the guy. But he's in America right now. And um, I've never met him. But he used to live in Thailand, and he's, now he's sort of stranded in America, his home country, and he's miserable as sin for a lot of reasons. And I've seen him uh, doing a couple of videos recently, how he really, really wants to get, he wants to leave America because it's too expensive and he's miserable and he just, he's not happy there. He wants to go back to Thailand. He wants to, I think he wants to retire back in Thailand, or he wants to, you know, do something, something there. But then I was surprised to learn that this guy, I think I'm right in saying, I think he's 43 years old. 43. I mean, to me, I'm 61. I'm almost 62. To me, a 43-year-old, that's a young man, that is. 43 is not, you know, he wants to, really, I think, you know, I, I wish I could have retired out here at 43, but, you know, finance, I simply couldn't do that. 
right now, I mean, at my age, it's now or never. At 43, you know, you've still got a lot of work in you. I mean, at 43, I was working like a donkey back in the UK. And um, it's not for me to tell this guy what to do, but he should realise that, you know, the idea of retiring out of Thailand at 43, he's not really old enough yet. I mean, I, I, you know, give it another, t work hard in America for another 10 years at least and put your money away. Or better still, 15 years. And then retire. I mean, you, you know, at 43, you're just not old enough to retire unless you're really lucky. Life Utopia. Is there Guinness available out there in Laos? Well, there's an Irish bar, so I would imagine there is. But don't forget, in places like this, Guinness is an import. So imports tend to be very, very expensive. Mr. Who, okay, here's a question. Serious question, Eddie. Is loneliness ever become an issue for you? Constant on your own. You don't have support network, friends or family around. You need a home base for your own sanity. Are you asking me or telling me? Is loneliness ever an issue for you? Yeah, of course, but you need to be a certain person. Not everyone could do, could live the kind of life that I, I do. A lot, some people wouldn't last five minutes. It, it doesn't take years to figure out. It's to live a kind of life that, that I, I lead. You've got to be an independent person. You've got to be comfortable with your own company. And you've got to be a pair, prepared to be, to, be, to be alone. If you're a really, really essentially sociable person and you need to be surrounded with people all the time, then good for you. But I, unless you've got shed loads of money, then you're not going to last. I mean, if you're surrounded by other people, what, do you, what does that mean? You're going to be out partying with them every night. You're not going to last very long. I, I'm doing what, what, what I'm doing. And don't forget, there's also another thing now. Now I've got tons of things to do on the internet. I've got two YouTube channels, this one, my, my main one. And I'm also writing books. I've got, I've got loads of things to do. If I was surrounded by people all the time, I couldn't do those things. You know, so it takes a certain type of person. I'm, I'm happy with what I'm doing. I'm happy with what I'm doing. And if I die alone, well, you, well, you know, you've got to die. So, you know, who cares? You've got to drop dead sometime. Okay. Uh, Kipax, cool bar. You've just given me an idea there for a video. You know, Kipax, cool bar, amazing views. Bottle baby, I missed a half dozen TV sets portraying a variety of different sports. It's what hold me back from Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, etc. Psy London, fantastic views, yeah. The, the views that I just showed you a moment ago. Marty C, look superb, mate. Mr. Who, it's cloudy and grey, just like the UK. You got the first bit right, but it's not just like the UK. The second bit isn't true. Marty C, a far cry from a daddy club in Everton. <laughs> Everton. Oh, did, did, I, did I describe Pataya as being an asshole? Did I really, really say that? Everton. Jeez, oh my God, oh my God almighty. Oh, what, what a... Bottle baby, move, up, move the tables closer to the mountains. Bottle baby, that's going to be Mrs. Rain. Apparently Seattle's very, very... Uh, But I, I, I always associate, uh, you know, that place with detective novels, the kind of books that I used to read when I was a young man. V, whenever I see the name V, I always think of that science fiction series. You know, I've seen the trailer for it. This alien steps off a, steps off a spaceship and says, we have come because we need your help. I, that's the trailer out of V. Bloody gorgeous view, absolutely, man. It's worth coming here just for that. Paul Owen, I had it in southern Philippines. Very hot here now. How's it over there? It's it's hot, but it's pleasant. It's not oppressive or nothing like that. Hang Nam Habat. I know who you're talking about. Okay, fair enough. Around Thailand, do more like Jeffrey. Who's Jeffrey? You mean, do you mean Jeff Carter? He's back in England now. Jeff Carter's cool. He's, he's cool. I'm glad to... I'm, I met Jeff Carter briefly, but, you know, great to meet him. He's a cool guy. And he paved the way for a lot of other vloggers. He really did. JJ, hi from Vietnam. 
Mr. Hill, if you can afford to retire, it doesn't matter what age you are, get out of the rat race, ASAP. Yeah, but the guy, the, the vlogger that I'm, I, I mentioned earl, earlier, he's, he's, he, he can, I don't think he can afford it because he opens the, opens the admit that I don't think he has a great deal of money. And um, he, he went into detail in a video about, you know, how much he has to pay for rent in America and all, all kinds of, and how much he's earning, doing not a good job and, and, and whatever. But you know, but he's forty-three. He's about forty-three. You know, that's really. I wish other could have retired, but I really think he should just knuckle down and work hard for the next ten years to make as much money as he can, and then think about retirement. You know, Guinness is the same price in Bataya as UK, cheaper than some places. Um, it's the same price. In, it's well, I think it's more expensive in Bataya because the, where, where do you get Guinness in Bataya? You get it in those English pubs, don't you? And those English themed pubs. And it's not cheap. It's not cheap. Eastern man, if the UK abolished national insurance, then all who save for retirement or plan to retire in the sun can kiss their state pension goodbye. Yeah. It's yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Eastern man is a gold mine of information. And um, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm still. I mean, I, I think my big question is, will I live to see my old age pension? That's about seven, or more than seven years from now. I've got a private pension, uh, yeah, you know, but the way they tax these bloody things, it's awful. Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Toby Price, I moved over. Um, that's another idea for a video, isn't it? It's another idea for a video. Oh, well, it's, it's what you... The, the, the UK is just doing people over, left, right and centre. I mean, I don't want to get on my high horse about this, but doesn't it seem to you that the UK are looking after are looking after the legals who come from other countries more than they're looking after their own people? That's the way it seems to me. You know. Yeah, Toby Price. I moved there over when I was 34. Not retired. Month on, month off on the ribs. Month on the rigs is good for your liver. Month on the rigs is good for your liver. Oh, that's good. That's a good idea, mate. Good, for, good idea. Kipax. He said, man, they're thinking of moving it to 71 now. I'm 45, but I have a work and private pension. Uh, I mean, a 71, they keep moving the goalposts. I mean, a few years ago, the state pension in, in England was 65, and then they quickly moved to 66. And then not very long after that, they moved to 67. I qualify for my, qualify for my state pension when I'm 67, which is just over five years away from now. The thing is, um, I suppose in a place like this, I could probably live off a state pension, but I, still, I, I, I have other things as, as well. But, um, yeah, yeah, you know, they keep moving to 60. If they move it any further back, you may as well kiss goodbye, because how long are you going to live, you, you know? Rent boy, you can't die alone, Ed. Let rent boy look after you. Now I'd be buggered if I'd do that. Uh, Ossie Mike, I, I'm guessing YouTube would help with loneliness. Do you think your life now, with or without YouTube, would, you, would be enjoyable? Oh, oh, my YouTube's made, made a massive amount of difference to my life. And bear in mind something. I'm a, I'm a relative newcomer to the world of the internet. It's, it's um, you know, in about... You know, eight or nine years, about eight years ago, I didn't bother too much with the internet. I really, really, you know, I was working so many hours. I didn't bother too much with the internet. But then, you know, when I started my YouTube channel, I'm slowly, and now, wow, the internet is wonderful. It's amazing. There's so many things you can do. But if you're doing anything creative on the internet, you've got to work hard at it. YouTubers, the YouTubers who, who make a lot of money, probably do work hard. There's some privileged people like, you know, who, who um, have teams working for them. I work alone. I, 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 do, I do my own thing. I really, really do. Um, I re really, really do, do my own thing. But the internet's absolutely amazing. And YouTube, and now I'm getting into writing my books. My second book is coming out um, in, in a few weeks' time. Yeah, just a few weeks' time from now. The, the, the sh second book should be available on Amazon KDB. Internet's wonderful. On YouTube, it's made shed loads of difference. 
bottle baby, loneliness is a double-edged sword, especially as you get older. Oh, you, you put this, you know, oh, you keep, people keep giving me ideas for videos. I think I'll do some videos about all of this kind of stuff. Me thoughts on this kind of stuff. Um, you, you, you know, you, you know it's, it's a lot to say about that. Bobby Cross, Eddie, now that you're back on the... No, I'm not. Do you find it hard to convince people that you're not a former alcoholic who has not got... Bo you know, cool. what, what are you on about, Bobby? What are you on about? Oh, lovely jubbly. Bail loud. This is, like, this is 30,000. In a nice bar like this, 30,000 kip, yes? Which is about... Bear in mind that this is more than a pint. This is more than a pint. This is, um, what's 30,000 kip? Bloody good, anyway. Better than Weatherspoons. Jan, Jan Sim, okay. Uh, I come to your channel and you drink a beer. Cheers, okay. Kip Axe, picture and sound is perfect. Well, that's good to hear, isn't it? That's good to hear. DH, are you going to the Wang Prabang? Uh, yes, I'm going to, I am. I've been there before. And to be honest with you, I thought, as authentic Southeast Asian towns go, I thought it was a teensy-weensy bit overrated. I actually preferred this place. Um, yeah, yeah, you know, one thing, I, I, I seem to recall, I think last time I was in Fang Viang, I might have been staying in a different area to this one, because I seem to recall there was loads of bars. And do you know what they were watching, all these young people, even in the daytime? They were watching that series, Friends, you know, that nauseating, cheesy, soppy, gooey, sentimental with all those perfect, glamorous people, uh, yeah, yeah, you, you know, uh, Friends. That's what they used to do. They used to watch the, you know, episodes of Friends on a big TV, sitting around bars. That's what they used to do in fact. I haven't seen that anywhere here, thankfully. Uh, okay. Mark about Pattaya. Nice to hear from you. Mr. Hill, you misunderstood my loneliness comment. My bad. My, my bad. From my own perspective, I like to enjoy experiences with friends. It doesn't mean going out getting... Okay, also for good. Okay, but you, you know... Um, um, yeah, I know some, some people need other people around them and some people are naturally independent. Well, I'm one of the second ones. I, I like to have company, company and, and friends, but, I, you know, it's, um, it's just sometimes friends can be a pain in the ass, especially if they want to borrow money from you. Uh, yeah, you know, and that sort of thing. Uh, hey, Sen, have you ever visited Africa? I've only ever been to Ethiopia. Spent a month travelling to Ethiopia. It was an experience, wasn't it? Mallows, talking about detective novels, do you remember the classic British TV show of the 70s called Who Done It? Yeah, I remember that. It, it had John Pertwee, didn't it? He was on Doctor Who. John Pertwee, um, he, it, was, it was a Who Done It. It was a panel show. With it. Yeah, I remember that. It used to be always, I wasn't a big fan, but I do remember it. Remember it. Awesome views. New Zealand loves your channel. Uh, also, views New Zealand loves your channel. Seven fifty p.m. Saturday night having a beer. Cheers, cheers Eddie. Okay, nice, to, th nice to hear from you, mate. Anyway, Saturday night having a beer. That's good. That's good. When I ram this stream up, we'll we'll take another look at those views. Uh, let's see. I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just nip out here and I'll show you some some front views. Okay, show you some front views. Let's just have a little. That's, that's, that's the pool table there, Baylor, okay. Now, I know this is all a little bit teensy-weensy, bit backward, but um, let's just have a little look out here. Okay, there we go. See, lovely, 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 gorgeous, beautiful. And a nice environment, nice environment there, okay. Okay, nice environment, lovely stuff, beautiful. Beautiful stuff, lovely stuff, Lo lovely environment. That makes all the difference, so... It, you, you know, you tell me, is it really, really important to you to be in a nice place, you know, as opposed to a place which has got everything you need? Uh, yeah, you know, I mean, Pataya has got everything you need, a single man wants. 
Singapore sooner or later, the fact that it's an S hole, you know, kind of becomes a little teensy weensy bit overbearing, you know what I mean? So London. I love travelling solo, do what you want. I know, I've got some stories to tell about that. There's a thing. Do you think on my main travel channel I should do some little story, story stuff, you know, about stories about my travels or other things? Would that be a good idea? Mark Deegan. All right, Eddie, I'll be there soon. I'll touch base and bring you on. Okay, whatever. Bobby Crush. I'm about to retire as the longest serving milkman in Paige Moss. Will 900 quid a month and four free bottles of steady a week be enough to retire in John TM? I, I haven't heard that phrase, phrase steady, for donkey. I mean, I, I, you know, when I was growing up, steady was working class milk, pasteurised. That, that, uh, that was a luxury. That was for the posh people, that was. Okay, let's see. I see you, Mike. Okay. But Ace, um, best to work eight months and vacation for four months. That way you can enjoy your life at any age. That's a good idea. Bobby, because Eddie, when do you get your British state pension? Will your free bus pass be? <laughs> oh, what are you like? What are you like? <laughs> I don't think so, mate. I don't think so. I, do you know what? I, I, even if I had. Even I, if I had a... St oh, I, I did get three prescriptions when I turned 60 because I, I went, went to the uh, pharmacy for medication, prescribed medication. And it was amazed when they, they said, you know, how old are you? Date of birth, that's it, you don't have to pay. Well, so that was good. That, that was quite a buzz, that was. That was quite a buzz. But, um, uh, yeah, you know, as for, as for bus passes, I don't know, if I'm uh, you know, I don't know what age you qualify for that. But I wouldn't use that because, I mean, when, when you're really, really old, are you really, really going to be walking all the way to the bus station and to the bus stop and standing there in the freezing cold? Mark about Pattaya. Why do, air for, why do the air phones that allow... Oh, people kept going on about, you know, the... It's... Uh, they can't hear it. Mallows. Big difference between being alone and being lonely. Fair enough. Leslie Stevenson. Good day, Ed from Melbourne. Uh, is Bealau never nice? I tell you what, Bealau is a lot nicer than the Thai Bears. It is, it's nicer. No question about it. Singer, Leo, they're, they're okay. They're very, very similar. They've got a kind of raspy, you know, great and kind of taste to them. That Chang, I don't like that at all. I really, really don't. But this one, Bealau, this is better. This, it's better, definitely better. Some will even say that Bay Lau is the best bear in Southeast Asia. Paul Owen, okay. Yeah, Malos, Friends was created to offset Seinfeld. I never watched him. Do you know, do you know what, during that period when Friends and all, all of that were really, really, um, were really popular and Seinfeld and, and all of that, I was working so many hours that I never had time for stuff like that. I didn't. I wasn't on the internet then. I didn't have time for the internet or TV or anything. I was just working so many hours. Toby Price. But now, but now, I'm I'm retired. I'm retired out here. You know what I mean? That's what it's all about. You put the hours in when when you physically, and then you can reap the reward later on. Now this guy in America who's 43 years old. That's, I think that's what he needs to do. I think he needs to get, you know, start working like a donkey, as I was when I was his age. Toby Price, if you, can I have another beer, please? All right, thank you. Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. Cheers. If you, if you want to stay single in your old years, it's easy in Thailand. You can just try to help us to look after you. Problem, okay. Okay. Richie, though, Ed, is there any mountain tours or attractions that you might do whilst there? Um, I'm kind of lethargic right now, which is another way of saying lazy. Mountain tours. I'll tell you what you can do. Micro lighting. You know, mi micro lighting. And you can do um, hot air balloons and all that, all kinds of stuff like that if you want to do that. I don't think I'm going to be doing that. I, I just like being here in a nice, pleasant, relaxing, uh, uh, very, very nice place.
you liar. Bobby Crush, Eddie, your book, Five Go to Pattaya, was reviewed in the magazine Woman. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. I was called Mocky by Gloria. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Lovely. Oh, beautiful bear. Beautiful bear. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Lovely bear, that beautiful bear. Uh, <laughs> Mocky by Gloria Honeyford. Are you happy with how you're perceived amongst London celebrity class? Well, I'll take that, take that comment with a pinch of salt because I know that that's not true. But my second book my se includes a couple of female characters, wongers. I'll say I'll give away. As, as well as like a bunch of scousers who go to Pattaya, it also includes a couple of obese English women who are forced to go to Pattaya by their husbands because they've been going on a girls' holiday to Gambia and Turkey for so many years, and their husbands kind of knew what they got up to. So the husbands forced them to go on this... Uh, to go out to Pattaya, and they hate it. They hate Pattaya because it's got no big Gambian gigolos with big, you know, you know, big whopping whatever. You know what I mean? Uh, <clears throat> Gambia, it's, sorry, Pattaya is not a place for wongas. So the story that adds to the story, in case you're interested. Okay. Let's see. Chew the line. Uh, Mark about Pattaya has got a bar in Pattaya. Mark about Pattaya has got a bar in Pattaya. He comes to join him and allows him to get back to Pattaya. Mark about Pattaya. Uh, real, I, oh, oh, still can't remind me of that one. No, I'm not in Pattaya right now, so I can't guarantee I'm going to be there. But but uh, anyway, thanks for that. Anyway, Kipax, have a good day, Eddie. I'm, I'm off take care. Okay, have a good day. It's Saturday, isn't it? So you have a good day, mate. Anyway, nice to hear from you. Okay, here we go. Uh, Scott, good morning from the cloudy cold Cleveland. Cleveland's on. I've never been there. There's lots, lots of places in England I've never been to. But... Bobby Crush, forget mountains. Sh sh shoulder beds. I like mountains. I do like mountains. Bottle Baby Crowder, Bobby, okay. Beyond, beyond, they played pool in Lowe. Yeah, well, they were. Anyway, Cy London. Yes, travel stories are great. Okay, I'll, I'll do, do, a few, do sort of some of those, because like, I was thinking of that. You know, how can I, um, you know, add, you know, something, so, you know, something else? Maybe a weekly, a weekly thing. Okay, I'll put my mind to it, and we, we'll do something like that, because I was thinking of a few, like, little travel stories and stuff that, you know, uh, you know, you know that you know maybe of incest people. So we, we'll do a little bit of that. Not on this channel, on the main one. A cent. Yes, we love to hear the stories. Experience. Okay, okay, we'll we'll do that, and they will be genuine stuff, not not made up crap. You know what I mean? Okay, so. Mister Who. Mr. Now, this is a very, very deep comment. We're getting very, very uh, profound here and deep. Mr. Mr. Who, Eddie, I can't help but feel that you had a bad experience in the past that left you feeling bitter and mistrusting of people. And ever since you put up a wall to prevent anyone getting close, I've never made a secret of the fact that I don't trust people. I don't trust anyone. And that's the way you gotta be, mate. That's it. And yeah, 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 right. You know, I've lived a life. I come from a shit background. Never made any secrets of that. I, I had a crap childhood, followed by an early adult life that was in poverty. You know, and you know, sometimes people say, "Why aren't you more patriotic towards Liverpool?" I couldn't. Well, to me, I grew up in a city that, you know. I could, yeah, you know, it was a city to get out of, you know, you know, not to make a life there. I never made any secret of that. Anyway, Cy London, Mr. Hill, Eddie is having a great life. And, you know, yeah, exactly. But for all the shite that I may have endured in the past, I'm happy 
I'm, a, I'm having a good little old life. I'm in a place that I want to be right now. I want to be here right now. I could be any, I could be in Pattaya. I could be in a dirty massage parlor. But instead, I'm here in this delightful bar, in this delightful town, having a lovely beer, and I'm happy. <clears throat> no problems. No problems, mate. That's the way I like it. Okay? So that's the way I like it. So I'll have a shite my early years where, I, it, where I, you know, at least I've made something good out of my life. <clears throat> Sceneries. I love place that still look nice. So great for you to be there. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for that. Okay. Bealow is great too. Okay. Bealow. I, I haven't tried that one. I'm, I'm quite happy with this here. Shin Rana. Morning there from Shin and Avani. Okay, nice to hear from you, Shin. I hope all is well. I, I hope all is well. I miss Bail out. They, I miss Bail out. Definitely the best. Bobby Crush, how much is the ale? This 640 milliliter bottle of Bail out is 30,000 kip, which is, oh, what, what is, oh, what is that? Is that about one and a half US dollars, something like that? Very cheap, great value, great value. Scott, San Miguel light with lime and soy are my favorites. Nice, crisp, clear lager. A lot of people will say that Bailau is the best beer in this region, in other countries. To late Dave, I work like a donkey in my 40s <clears throat> and earned a fortune. Sadly, I lost half of it in a divorce. I'm retired at 54, but it's a completely different retirement to what I was going to get. I've got one word to say about that. Women. Do you wonder why I don't trust anyone? You know, my commiserate, my commiserate, Commiserations, mate. I hope every. I'm sure that you know. I'm sure things will get better, but you know, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't. Uh, okay, yeah, fair enough. People, people go. Get, people go on about. Be careful of those Thai beds. I've even heard English women saying, "Be careful about those Thai beds. They're after your money." English women are after your money. They're after your money as well. Okay. B BW. Hey, Stan, did you have a spare five? Enough of you. Okay, here we go. Sean Harris. Hey, Ed, I'm really happy for you. Enjoy, buddy. Okay, cheers, Sean. Cheers. Like I say, there's no, there's, this is not a, not a knock and shop here. This, there's no dirty women or, or anything like that. But I don't want that all the time. If I was really, really that desperate for the shag, I'd, I'd, go to, I'd go to places where I can get one, you know, like Bangkok or Pattaya or, or uh, yeah, yeah, you know, where, where, wherever. I'm not really that desperate. You know, I've had my fair share over the years. Adam say, you tell him, Eddie, small pleasures are what makes life worthwhile, okay? Mr. Hill, well, good for you, Eddie. You found happiness. Apologies if I stepped on your toes. It comes from a place of cans. Wishing you health, wealth, and happiness. Okay, cheers. I'll drink to that. I'll drink to that, mate. I'll drink to that. If, if I was a... You know, I, I could be in some grotty little pub in England right now. Uh, you know, Saturday afternoon. You know, talking crap with all the other old bastards there. You know what I mean? Where was I'm here. I'm, I'm okay. I'm cool. V, life is great, Eddie. Keep smiling because many. Okay, fine. Okay, fine, fine. Thanks for that. Anyway, thanks for that. Toby Price, bail. I was great. I remember wiping out 13 big bottles waiting for the visa. My wife was very happy. <laughs> did she have to. Even when she had to pick it up from the floor. <laughs> Sean Harris, have you ever been catching up on any movies? Oscar weekend this week. Is it? It's March now. I thought that was usually February. Oscar weekend. I haven't been catching up on any movies recently. Recently, I, you know, um, 
I mean, catching up on it, oh, catching up on any movies, but the Oscars have become a load of bollocks, haven't they? Haven't they become a load of bollocks? I mean, you know, some of the greatest people, legendary people in the whole history of cinema, never won an Oscar. Alfred Hitchcock, the most legendary, famous filmmaker, film director, who film director who was instantly recognisable, never won an Oscar. Stanley Kubrick never won an Oscar. You know, load of bollocks. He's a man. He, he's a man. Uh, I, I won't say, say his. I won't say his name. He, 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 he's, he's, he's a man. He's just, he, he lives a sad life. He lives a sad life. That's all I'll say. This is his one little pleasure in life. Is coming on here, all and me. So I, I, you know, I'm, I'm not cruel. I wouldn't take away his little pleasure in life. He hasn't got a life outside of you know when's when's Eddie next making a video so I can troll it. Okay. Yeah, Liam Harden, now that you had retired now doing your regular travelling like before, will there come a time when you stop pulling the 20 kilogram suitcase around and pick a place to say? Yeah, they probably will. Yasmin Ruby. Hi, Ed, you hope you're well. You had a haircut. <laughs> right, nice to hear from you, Yasmin. No, I haven't had a haircut. I haven't had my haircut for a couple of months now. Do you know what? I, um, I had a shower today. And um, I'm going to step out of the shower. I looked at my hair in the mirror. I don't know what comes to mind. Do, do, do you ever remember that movie, A Race Ahead? Uh, you know, it was, a, it was a cult movie by David Lynch. And everyone remembered, whenever you mention a, a, a Race Ahead, people remember the hairstyle that the guy had. He was a kind of weird old hairstyle. That's what it looked like. I, I looked in the mirror, I thought, I look like a Race Ahead. Nice to hear from you anyway, Yasmin. Kiki and Jasmine, nice to hear from you. Nice to hear from you. Yeah, Mr. Who, Mr. Who, okay. I saw on another channel an 18-year-old asked some guys in their 40s and 50s for life advice. One older guy said, don't get married young, wait until your 40s and get with a woman with their own house. That sounds like bloody good advice to me. <laughs> sounds like good advice. Imagine that. Im imagine, yeah, imagine meeting a woman with their own house. And you got shed loads of money, okay? That's, that's an idea, that isn't it? You know, put all your money in an offshore account where it can't be traced, Swiss bank account, and then go and move into a house, and never really get divorced. You see, <laughs> you got nothing to lose, have you? <laughs> that's an idea. Mister, a house already paid for my source, so. TV, how's it going? Love the channel. Going down hill since you left UK with alcohol, isn't it? Could be a bit of shock one day. What are you on about, mate? Fat boy Slim, nice to hear from you. Nice to hear from you. Nice to hear from you. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But Sean Adams, is there a bolt or grab tattoo in Lamb? I I. So no, I don't know. I just don't know what sussed out because all because the two places I've stayed in Lao, everything I needed was within walking distance. So no, I haven't come across any of that. Chew the lion. A funny video would be a haircut and chest waxing. I've never had a wax in my life. Isn't that where they pour loads of wax and pull your hairs? Oh Jesus Christ Almighty! Brown bear, looking healthy, chap. Okay, cheers. Bobby Crush. Eddie with the forehead like Teffel, hair like Bobby Charlton and Phil Collins. You watch Cy Barbers for the discount. I'll I'd, tell I'd, I'd you what, I, I, once, I once went into a Barbers in, in, in Fethier in Turkey, where I used to have, have a place. And uh, God almighty, they're so touchy fairly. I mean, you, you, you know, Turkey's take, take Barbers, as well as, the, well as the haircut, he threw in the bloody massage, you know. I thought he's going to. Yeah, 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 you know, he's going to give me a happy ending in a minute. He, oh, my God, oh, my... Anyway, Liam, Liam Harden. Mr. Hill, you ever been on a cruise ship, Eddie? 
No, I haven't, but I'd love to. I mean, they look absolutely... I, I, I do actually occasionally, you know, watch videos of some of these cruise ships and they just look absolutely phenomenal. I'd, I'd love to give that a try. I really would. Liam Art, Bale Lau's a bit there in Thailand than the other side base, but it is nicer. It's so cheap in Lao. Did you taste the dark beer? I haven't had the, I haven't had the dark beer yet. Um, but yeah, you're right. Well, obviously, it's an import into other countries. Anyway, listen, we talked a little bit of bollocks, okay? So, oh! I'm going to give you another little view of... Um, another little teensy-weensy view of, uh, of outside. We're going to have a look at the mountains anyway. La, 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 la. Oh, magnificent, okay? Magnificent mountains. I mean, so, that, so, that's, so that's the question. How important is it to you that you stay in a beautiful environment? Because this is a beautiful environment, okay? We're just going just gonna to scan around. All right. Just going to show these people here what a beautiful environment this 100%. is. Absolutely. I mean, who, who wouldn't want to wake up to this every morning? No, no, no. Uh, and around 4.30 to 5 p.m., yeah. Oh, uh, the balloons! Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm usually asleep by then after my afternoon drink, but sounds <laughs> sounds good. But I've seen the micro lights. Yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go, guys. This has got a very alpine feel to it. Wow! Just look at that. Look at that. Come on, come on, come on. Who wouldn't want to be here? Just look at it. Look at those mountains. In it. It's a bit of a hazy day today. But, you know, just look at those beautiful mountains. Phenomenal. Absolutely gorgeous place. Wow. Magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? That is better than a council estate in Liverpool, okay? I know I'm stating the obvious, but the obvious is that this view you simply would not get in a council estate in Liverpool. You just wouldn't get that. Just look at it. Just look at that. Okay, guys. Okay. So, uh, everyone. Okay, so I'm going to end the stream here on that high, high note. This is Van Vieng in Laos. And it's just a beautiful environment. It is just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful environment. And I like being in a beautiful environment. If that don't make you feel good, nothing will. Okay? So listen, listen, uh, I'll say thanks for watching, guys. We're going to end the stream here in this beautiful environment. Thanks for tuning in. And I'll be back very, very soon. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Absolutely. This, is, this takes my breath away. I was brought up in a council estate in Liverpool, remember? And just look at what, what this is here. This is why I want to be here. Okay? Have a great day, guys. Oh, Jesus. Absolutely awesome.